Are you hungry? Children should eat without hesitation. Thank you. Whoa, this croquette is delicious. Why is there any sauce? <laughs> Cookies. It's so delicious that you don't really need sauce. As long as you use homemade breadcrumbs and fry it properly. Now, if you stop crying, it's time to go home. The next day, I left the town due to my parents' transfer. Ugh, I'm hungry. I didn't even have time to eat lunch today, and I'm working overtime. My name is Hiroshi Asami. I'm a 31-year-old salesman. I graduated from uni and got a job. After that, I returned to the city where I lived until I was 7 two years ago, due to a transfer to the headquarters. The rice is refrigerated. So, well, I'll buy some things from the usual place. 9.48 p.m. I can just barely make it, huh? Itaraki Love Koi Bento was located in a shopping district right next to the apartment where I live. Well, today, I guess, rolled omelette and deep fried chicken. Yes, thank you for your hard work today. I am always grateful for your help. How about some vegetables with your meal? Oh, uh... <laughs> hey, hey! Well, I say this as a friend, not as a store clerk. Asami-san, I've been coming here for the past three days in a row, but you haven't ordered anything related to salads, right? Are you eating vegetables? <laughs> yes? Don't laugh and cheat! Her name is Rumi Nihama. She's the daughter of the owner of the shop. Since it's nearby, I come here quite often. Before I knew it, we had become friends. What? I was listening, but... You weren't eating veggies? Ugh! While I was having this conversation with Rumi-san, a large man with a kitchen knife came out and glared at me. Aren't you... too careless? Huh? If you don't eat veggies now, it will affect your health later. Take a serious care about yourself. It's almost time to close. Help us get rid of leftover salad packs. Th thank you, said the big man, stuffing a large pack of vegetables into my bag. Goro Nihama. He's the owner of this bento shop and Rumi's father. Oh yeah, we're closing now and all that's left is preps for the next day. So please send Rumi home. But isn't this too much? After waiting a round of the store for a while, Rumi came out and we headed home together. The bag I received was full of salad packs that were on sale. <laughs> it's okay. Your vegetables will be happier if they're eaten rather than thrown away. Oh, that's right. How about the patronage service you always receive? As someone like me who is not good at cooking, I'm really glad your shop is here. That's one thing, but I guess I come here from nostalgia as well. So, you won't serve croquettes no matter what, after all? Yeah... The only thing we served was my mom's special croquets. Two years ago, when I came back to this town, on the first day, I came here and asked, Um, aren't there any croquettes? I can't forget the taste of the ones I ate 22 years ago. Then, she rolled her eyes, and her father, Goro, said, No, we haven't served croquettes for 20 years. He said sadly. Apparently, it was one of the most popular products in the past. Ever since her mother died in an accident. I was so young, so I had never eaten it. My father doesn't sell it at this store either. Actually, it seems that they tried to make croquettes again, but they couldn't bring out the same taste. Hey, I've asked you this many times, but were your mom's croquettes delicious? Yeah, it was really, really delicious. Maybe it was because of that connection that we became friends. Wow, it tastes like a memory, but I understand something. The next day, before the end of the year, 
I was to take half a day off in the afternoon. Before that, I came to settle the expenses at the accounting department. Her name is Sakura Maihama, the daughter of the president. When I asked her what her mother's specialty dish was, she said that. I don't have a mother anymore either. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. No, don't worry about her. But I still can't forget the taste of her mother. There are some parts that are glorified with memories, and I will never be able to catch up with my mother again. However, she worked hard to recreate her mother's taste, and would be happy if her father complimented her that the taste was the same. While saying that, she finishes the accounting procedure. A taste I can't forget, huh? Well, I took the rest of today and tomorrow off because my company told me to. But to be honest, I have nothing to do. Huh, what to do? It can't be helped. After a meal, I should just spend the afternoon chilling. I made that decision and headed to my usual bento shop. However, something was going on there. Have you decided to close your store? Come on, I'll be in trouble if you don't. He says he won't sell his store or land. Please pick it up. I wonder if her father isn't there. Rumi is dealing with the man resolutely. What is that guy? A land shark? Oh, wait. Hey, you. Maybe you are Tomohito Tatema? Huh? Who the heck are you? Oh, wait. A Sammy? So I was right. He's my former classmate. Um, friend? Friend? No friggin' way. Not someone who'd snitch on me like him. You're the one who was threatening juniors to give you money. It's a crime. Yes, this guy is a former classmate of mine, but he used to threaten the juniors and take money from them. I reported that to the school and, at the same time, took the juniors to the police to help them. Because of that, I was arrested. Instead of going on to higher education, I had to drop out of high school. Because of you, bastard! You had already been arrested before, right? It's your own fault. Then, Tatsuma clicks his tongue loudly and leaves with a disgusted look. I... are you okay? <laughs> it's okay. When you're in sales, you deal with a lot of unreasonable people. I'm used to it. I never expected to meet him in a place like this, though. Our high school was quite far away from here. What kind of coincidence is that? Anyway, what was going on? What happened to Goro-san? Well, for a while now, a commissioning company from Magokoro Unnecessary Real Estate has been around here, selling land. I see. So a land shark. Lumi nods. It's always a bear. Originally, my dad used to chase it away, but his back was stiff. Did you just call your father the bear? So, what about the store? I'm the only one. But my dad has already explained the menu to me, so I don't have to worry. While saying this, she smiles and tries to not make me worry. It can also be said that there are so few customers that even she alone can run it. Perhaps their business isn't going well. Oh, sorry! Working? Or the one who came to buy it? She noticed that it was rare for me to be here on Thursday afternoon. Hey, um, I suddenly got paid to leave today and tomorrow, so I'm bored. If you don't mind, can I help you a little? Eh? An hour later, I was standing at the cash register wearing an apron. Welcome! Oh, this is the first time I've seen a young man standing in a store. Newbie? Or Rumi's husband? <laughs> I'm just helping her out for a few days. Looks like the store manager injured his back. Oh my, that's tough. Good luck! Um... Give me your daily lunchbox. 
Okay, thank you. One daily special! Sorry, but it really helped me. Oh, I'll pay you for your part-time job. Uh, no, it's fine. I received a lot of vegetables yesterday, and I even got another bento today. We just close at 10 p.m. Today, again, we go home side by side. No good! Work is work. You pay what you pay. Ah, in that case, use your salary at home. <laughs> okay, sure. Hey, your business isn't doing so well, is it? I asked her, and her expression changed. Yeah. Did you stand at the cash register and look at the number of customers? Honestly, just barely. No. Prices have been soaring lately, and we're running a deficit. Uh, it seems like it used to be preposterous. And then, the next day too, Tomohito Tachima came to the store. Why are you here? I can't leave Rumi-san alone as long as you're around. Huh? Are you trying to pick a fight on me? Fine, I'll fight you. Come on out. There's no way I will. I'm not a kid like you. Heh, <laughs> fine. Looks like the old lady at the nearby bakery is about to give up. From now on, so many shops in this shopping district will be closing, okay? There aren't many customers anyway, so give it up. As I was listening to his bossy words, Rumi-san came out from behind. We don't sell. If you do not return immediately, I will sue you for non-eviction. Oh, what a tough girl. But isn't your business losing against the department store in front of the station? Don't struggle in vain. Shut up, go home. <gasps> then, when Tachima left, Rumi suddenly hugged me. Whoa, wh what is it? Oh, Rumi-san, are you crying? Thank you. Asami-san is here, but what should I do? If things continue like this, like he said, I... I guess I'll have no choice but to give up. Rumi-san, don't worry. There's definitely a way. I grabbed her shoulders and looked straight into her eyes to encourage her. But it's that easy! What can you do now? I don't know, but I don't want this store to go down either. That said, I can't think of an easy way to save the shop. The following Monday, I was racking my brain at the office. The quickest way would probably be to partner with a large company and receive regular orders. But unfortunately, this store won't be able to handle that many orders. Oh, why am I worried about someone else's business? Oh, the president and Maihama-san. Our president and his daughter, Sakura Maihama, are working nearby and talking. Your cooking is starting to resemble your mom's. <laughs> really? Not yet. Will Asahi be happy too? That's way too much for Asahi. If you fry up some random grass and feed him, that's enough for him. Ah! And when I finish my work today, I hurry to Itaraki Love Koi Bento. Rumi-san, it's the croquettes! Let's revive your mom's croquettes! Oh? Asami-san? That croquette was really good! Crispy and juicy! I'm sorry, but it's impossible. It was her father, Goro, who came out from behind while saying that. Ever since she was gone, I tried to recreate it many times, but to no avail. It just won't be the same. She was only using the ingredients from our store, but I couldn't do it. I look at Goro-san, who looks sad and retreats to the back of the store, saying, Thank you. Well, of course an amateur like me can't do anything. You must have thought hard about it, right? I'm happy. Thank you. Oh man, I remember she used to say, croquettes don't really need sauce, 
as long as you use homemade bread crumbles and fry them properly. I feel like she said that. But of course you guys have tried that already. Oh, huh? You look surprised. What's up? For some reason, right in front of me, her eyes widened, looking surprised. Huh? Yeah, when I ran out of the house crying because I didn't want to move out of this town, she cooked me croquettes. And she told me that. What about it? Is that story true? Before I knew it, Goro-san had come out of the kitchen again. I see. No wonder. She wasn't using the store-bought bread crumbles, huh? Damn, I see. I didn't know that at all. Hey, thank you. Come to my store again tomorrow. Promise. I'll let you try your special croquettes. Goro-san smiled happily saying so. The next day, I stopped by the bento shop after work and was taken to the back of the store. Oh, this is it. It tastes exactly as I remember. Is this your mother's croquet? Wow. So crispy and delicious. We were delighted with the croquettes that Goro-san had fried. But, Dad? What did this change? How did it get so crispy? Oh, it's the bread crumbles. It's called raw bread crumbles. It's white bread crushed in a mixer. He smiles happily. At that time, she was in the kitchen, and I served customers. Plus, I don't really like bread. I knew she often bought bread at the bakery across the street, but I didn't know it was for this reason. However, this croquette is not complete yet. While saying that, Goro-san placed his hand on Rumi's head. Picture? But Asabi-san says it tastes just like she remembered. That's right. This is good enough. But for me, it's just one step short. Type of oil, oil temperature, frying time. We need to hit the right point. After all, I might never be able to catch up with her. About 10 days later, I went to the Itadaki Love Koi Bento on Sunday, and there was a huge line. Whoa, this is amazing! As soon as people found out that the croquettes got revived, they rushed to the store. Freshly fried croquettes! Yes, there are three, thank you! At the same time, they also partnered with the bakery across the street. It seems like the bakery owner is determined not to let the bento shop go bankrupt too. And that was bad news for this guy, a land shark. Hey, what does this mean? Why is there such a long line? It's the reality. Itaraki Love Koi Bento is a huge success now. Bankruptcy is far away. Huh? The plan to build a condo here has already begun. If the eviction doesn't go well, I'll get scolded. At worst, my life will be ruined. That's none of our business. I got so irritated at his selfishness. Why do they have to sacrifice their lives for your life? More and more people have started gathering here. This should improve the quality of the shopping district as a whole. I'll just repeat what you said to them before. Just give it up. Shit! Darn it! I won't forget this. Now, Tatsuma returned to his office and got scolded by his boss. Are you stupid? It won't work. It won't be difficult. I have received a deposit for the eviction. It's not enough if you can't do it. Evict them by any means necessary. Good? If that doesn't work, an unidentified person may come out of the sea. <laughs> and then the following Saturday, I was standing at the bento shop, wearing an apron. Sorry, I'm looking for people, but please help me this Saturday and Sunday. It's fine. I get paid too, right? Then there's no need to apologize. It is expected that there will be more customers than usual on weekends, 
In fact, there's already a line outside. But... Hey! Scatter! Scatter! You're in my way, you damn bastards! A familiar voice and loud noise echoed from outside. I saw Tatema and a few other people on a motorbike. He was blasting loud music and trying to scare away the customers in line. Hey! Get out of the way! This shopping district is our territory from today onwards. That guy... It seems he has resorted to an illegal measure. What a guy. Rumi, I'll leave the store to you. Even if something happens to me, I know you'll be able to run the shop. Before I knew it, Goro-san had come out from the back of the store. I'll join you too. Rumi-san, please call the police. What? Are you trying to show off in front of my daughter? You are sure you're coming? Of course. This is an important place for me too. Goros and I grinned at each other and walked out of the store. Hey, you guys! What are you doing to my store and customers? We stood in front of the store. I feel angry at the extremely unreasonable scene in front of me. Hey, if you just gave up, we wouldn't have had to do this. It's your fault. You scum. Do you think you can get away with this? Shame on you! Heh! <laughs> Even if you struggle, the shopping district is destined to close down, right? It's outdated. Why don't you just give up? What an era! There were people from the shopping district standing there glaring at Tatsuma and his cronies. It's true that sales are down compared to what they used to be. Everyone works hard to make a living. You're that land purchaser who also came to our store, right? If you can do it, do it! All of us in this shopping district will never sell to you, isn't that so? Everyone raises their voices in agreement. Wait, wait a minute! Oh no! The police?! Tachima and his cronies were startled by the sound of police sirens and tried to run away, but were easily caught. I had no choice. I had no choice but to do this. They were caught red-handed due to property damage, and they would be re-arrested at a later date on suspicion of obstruction of business. Strangely enough, he seemed a little relieved that he got arrested. Naturally, we couldn't make it in time for the store's opening due to the police interview. I'll make sure to file a claim for damages. You better pay for it. Say that! Don't make me worry! I wondered what would happen, reflect on it! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hey, you should apologize too. Dreamy san I'm sorry. Men are no match for an angry lady. I apologized honestly, and suddenly, my eyes met Goro-san's. Huh, I like you. If you want Rumi to be your wife, just tell me, and I'll approve. Hey, Dad? Now, let's talk a little bit about what happened after that. The company Tatsuma worked for was so shady that the police raided it. They arrested many people. Tatsuma. Not only was he arrested, but he also said unnecessary things. Uh, oh, I'm safe here. Phew, I didn't have to become a part of Algae and the Sea. All the perpetrators involved in this case had no future. As for me and Dumisan, well, relationships don't necessarily progress that quickly. Today, I'll have rolled omelette and fried horse mackerel, perhaps? I'm running out of vegetables again. I can't help it this time. Shall I go make some? Huh? However, little by little, there were signs of change in our relationship. Your croquettes are delicious. But this one, something's still missing. That day, Goro-san was eating croquettes alone in front of the Buddhist altar. <laughs> no matter how much I change the recipe, I can't beat your taste. I remember now. I was always no match against your cooking skills. I'm sure I'll never catch up. 
Oh, I promise never to cry again. But eating this croquette brings back memories. The fun memories from those days. It's a memorable taste for me too. But for him, it was, of course, even more special. Goro-san was crying as he quietly talked to his wife. Hello, it's Brittany. I always love these stories about memories related to like food and taking a bite of something and remembering the one you loved. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!